says, um, Lily's built a wall. <laughs> She's uh, shielding herself from attackers, from what I can tell. I don't know. Just, you know, just to make sure that I'm good. I have the door right in front of me, so anyone can come in. <laughs> You can never know. It's better yeah. to be safe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, sure. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to introduce our wonderful little podcast? Okay. Well, hi, guys. For uh, uh, what is the last time is here. Hi. Welcome to all the films we judged before. And this is a film. We're actually doing a film today, which is always fun. Um, uh I'm Casey. That's the case. I honestly forgot where I was in the 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 thing because I usually <laughs> go straight through. Um, I, so splitting it up made me f lose my rhythm entirely. <laughs> you added a little flavor in there. It, it was being yeah. fun, and then I, by being fun, I I screwed myself. You did the same thing I did last time, and I forgot how I usually count this in. So you know, mm. it happens. It's that time of the year. Okay, Christmas is coming. Jesus, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I have one week of work left and it's not even a full week I'm so tired don't worry don't worry relax and rest is coming soon it's gonna be nice okay. it's gonna be so good uh, but anyway yes we're back this is our last episode this year um, so obviously I'm gonna talk about my favourite thing <laughs> in the whole world <laughs> definitely didn't just turn out that way <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> but first, since we, you know, haven't done this bit for like a good while, uh, what did you watch in the last two weeks? I, I mean, last two weeks because we we didn't didn't talk about it last time. I'm trying to think, did I watch? So I yeah, okay. In the two, last two weeks, I went and hung out with my friend, okay. and we watched Rogue One. Yes, you did. Because I, I waited to watch Rogue One with her because she was like, we can we can watch Rogue One. So I went, okay, I will not watch Rogue One immediately following finishing Andor. Um, many of my criticisms with that movie are the same. However, uh, I st I do um I do feel more positively about it in that it is it, it does very good at being Star Warsy. Um, I had forgotten just how Star Warsy the music was. It was mm -hmm. like these like sweeping pieces, and I was like, "Crikey, this is really going for it." It's not subtle <laughs> in the slightest. Um, but I, 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 th a lot of the things that I enjoyed about it the first time, but were clearly in the wrong moods to enjoy about it that first time, I was able to accept and really enjoy a lot more this time round. Okay, like Bodhi, who I always loved the first time anyway, but um, also um, Serret and his friend. Whose name I can't remember. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't remember names. <laughs> um, you know, you know the two. Yeah, I know, I know. Husbands. I, yeah, they're the best. Come on. <laughs> Sean Come and on. I spent the entire movie going husbands. <laughs> <laughs> they are husbands. Uh, and then obviously, uh, love K two and I love Cassie. And I still find Jin um, wasn't developed enough at the beginning of the movie. Like I don't. I feel like she's very much a blank slate character and I don't think it works to be fair I don't care about her <laughs> well that's <laughs> my problem there's the thing I you, it, the movie centers so much around her that they want you to care about her eh, I'm very happy with the others so I'm just like I okay yeah, it's just, it, yeah I just I feel like I love the ending to that movie and I think it's so yeah. beautiful but I don't think we get enough of sense a uh, sense of who she is to really feel all the ramifications, you know, all the ways in which she mirrors Cassian. Mm. I don't think that they are strong enough uh, by the time that you get into that second half of the movie, which I think is much stronger than the first half. So I think the yeah. first half goes way too quickly. It's like, bang, bang, bang. You don't get any time to stay with anybody for any real length of time. Um, but That's... the fight scene at the end with the, with the whole battle mm -hmm. around um, Scarif and everything is very cool. <laughs> It's very like, good. I honestly out loud went, all right, this is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I watched that again. Um, and then I uh, the, the next morning we watched Catching Fire. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we kind of turned to each other and went, oh, we got, we're got we in a bit of a weird uh, like revolution kick uh, at the moment. Um, hmm. Catching Fire remains an excellent fucking movie. It slaps. 
honestly got me like really choked up a couple of times. Um, I I wasn't expecting it, but those that that movie in particular is very good and mm. <laughs> a spectacularly yeah. well done adaptation. Yeah. of those novels. Um, we did not watch any more than that, nor did we watch the one before it. We just watched Cry Catching Fire. <laughs> That's that's fair though. It's, it's very fair. And then we watched six episodes of Andor, so I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, revolutionary feeling, you know. Yeah, we're doing a rebellion and everything, and rebellion <laughs> and <laughs> very fun. Um, and then yesterday, uh, because I had a, a quiet day, I, I guess I started watching Bridgerton. Um, it. it, it I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling this first season so much. There are parts of it that I really enjoy. I find Daphne a bit. I don't like her very much. <laughs> you know that's fair. I didn't like her either at the beginning, and then it like, turns around. I find. I find. I enjoy her in the scenes where her and Simon are getting on very well. Yes, I enjoy her in any other scene. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I just there's just a vibe I don't know and I, I get I've been I've been getting a little annoyed about and I don't understand why they've done it it's not that I, it, it does technically speaking work for the narrative it just doesn't work for me it's that kind of feeling the mm. whole plot of how like none of the young women know what sex is just at all uh, I, I'm just like they, none of them know they, they, there's like a whole subplot of them being like don't know how babies are made and I'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what you're going for here, but this does not work for me. <laughs> Frankly, I find it kind of demeaning. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, I know, I know it's it's the point and everything. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to the second season because I have a feeling the second mm-hmm. season will enjoy a lot more than this first season. Yeah. Um, and really, what well, if what are we here for if not Final Fantasy XIV's Jonathan? Beck? <laughs> Your only reason to watch this. <laughs> so I mean, it's true, uh, and he's not—he's never going to be Bridgerton's Jonathan Bailey. He is always going to be Final Fantasy XIV's <laughs> Jonathan Bailey. Wait till you he watch is... season two. No, 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 no! You don't understand. He's Grahatia, and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's my favorite little cat boy, and that is the only thing that's important. I smacked myself in the nose there. Ow! That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Ow, fucking hell. I got, really got my nails. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Skin um, is killing herself before this. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just taking my nose off with it's my fine. fingernails. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think those were the most important things. I don't remember really. I watched the first episode of that Harry and Meghan documentary, and it's oh. like pretty good. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's it's a pretty hot button topic in this country. And I watched like the last half an hour of my mom watching the last episode, and I'm like, oh, all right, I'll stick this on. It's okay. pretty good. It's, I haven't, I, it's, I haven't yeah. watched it yet, so I don't know. Yeah, it's it's like you know, it's a good documentary, and I think they, they do a really nice job of like showing everything from their perspective properly. Mm. Um, and I hope that they have a nice time raising their little kids. They mm-hmm. just seem to they, they need some peace. That's that's all. That's really the the big thing. They they just need some peace. If we could all yeah. leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's fair. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. I don't think there's anything else. Unless I, did, I didn't mention anything else to you, did I? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I think that's really what we talked about. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Okay. What about you? <laughs> well, <laughs> God, that was quite well. <laughs> a noise you just made. As I promised, my list just changed. <laughs> Like you want to do a little quick revision? (laughs) Yes. So originally, uh, my uh, list of the top three uh, movies uh, was, uh, you know, obviously the first one is uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, The outfit, which I really much enjoyed, and no, yeah, was Mm -hmm. the third one. Now the good selection. (laughs) Yes, but it it changed majorly, (laughs) so don't be surprised. So. Uh, the best she's been assuring is number three, because okay. I really, I really, really liked it. It was it's such good a movie. good movie. Uh, very sad about the donkey. Well, all so, right, you don't need to spoil the whole thing. <laughs> it, it, it's been out for a while now, 
Spoiler. Yeah, not everybody's seen it. Spoiler. I would, I would, I would, if you're going to edit this properly, I put in <laughs> real quick, about to spoil Banshees, mute now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's just one second, but I will do that. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, the second place got everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, this is, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. Avatar is the first. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Without a question. I am blown away. And we're going to get into it more in a second. Uh, I also watched uh, See How They Run, uh, which is now up on Disney+. Which Plus. Is, I think she <laughs> now agreed with me. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's fine. But it's like, eh, you know. You kind of watch it and go, that was a fun movie. And then you don't really feel the need to watch it again. Nah. You know, I saw it twice, but that wasn't really like a... I desperately want to see it again thing. It just it was a happenstance. Um thing is, I I feel like it was mostly the characters. Like it yeah. they just didn't have enough time to be something for me. Like I love Sam Rockwell, but in this mm. one he felt like very hollow and they're just all not... quite hollow in it. I like I think Cicerone has a lot of charm in this role, mm. but it it's like, yeah, there's not enough not enough underneath all no. of it. No, it's it's kind of lost a little bit. So I was like, eh, okay, I like how it started. Like I really, mm-hmm. really like what they were trying to go for. Uh, but then I was like, it it just started to go like. Uh... It was like meh. I think I even fell asleep for like three minutes. <laughs> it's like, Ooh. what what happened? Does it matter? Okay, watching it watching it uh i knew the ending as well i was i was pretty certain what's going to be the ending so i was like i didn't get the guy but i also don't feel like Not the guy I... the drawings and that that's going to be the ending of this movie yeah thing. yeah that, that that's that was fine i i didn't think personally found that the um the the murder mystery itself wasn't um wasn't right you know telegraphed quite well enough for my liking yeah yeah you know? Yeah, it doesn't need to be obvious, obviously, but it didn't. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It was... Fair. Kind of, it pops up and he goes, "Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda, kinda. Uh, and then, and then, uh, I watched uh the uh, new Netflix special, Murder Real: Who Killed Santa? <laughs> Which is I don't bit... know what this is. <laughs> With Will Arnett, where Will Arnett is in the role. Uh, and everyone is in the role, oh. and then they invite like the actors and everyone. I didn't know uh, they'd done more of these. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they did. And and this Christmas one is the best out of all of them. I I love so much that Jason Bateman and Maya Rudolph are the ones that oh, they that's invited. A good selection of people. <laughs> um, uh, Sean Hayes is also in it. It's, it's just also the very whole good. Thing. <laughs> the whole thing is just ridiculous, and if, I had such a fun time. It's honestly, it's like fifty minutes, so if you have time, check it out. It's really fun, and and they are clearly enjoying themselves to the fullest, <laughs> which is just great. So yeah, that was fun. I really liked it. Uh, but yeah, the main thing, obviously, this week, this week, it was my birthday on this week? No, it was last week. It was day- so early confused. last, late last week, yes. mid last week. Mid last week, so yes, that was this was my gift. Everything that you see behind Katie in front of me, obviously, I was able to watch it uh, in an advanced screening on my actual birthday. I was very happy with that. I cried multiple times. That's not a surprise. But we're gonna review Avatar: The Way of Water in today's episode. What are your overall thoughts? Without you know getting into it, into anything, first, um... just overall. I tell you what, uh, I'll give you all the ones that are um, on the beginning at, and the end because I did write a bunch of notes. Uh, I got in the Excellent. car afterwards and I was like, I shall write this down so that because I've got time and I don't want to forget anything, I'll just quickly put jot everything. Um, right. My basically, I've said movie good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Movie good, and then right at the end, I went movie good again, and then put very emotional. That's that's like kind of. <laughs> That's the very overarching. Everything else goes into like more detail into other stuff. Uh, fair, fair. And, uh, something do that I mentioned to you already. Um, yes. But yeah, m- movie good. Okay. Fair. Fun. Fun movie. Yeah. I was impressed by uh, the world building. Sorry, I've got itch on my arms. Um, <laughs> uh, the world building is 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 really solid. Uh, it's it's a very easy film to kind of sink into and uh, sort of let what wash over you. 
in that mm-hmm. way. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. So you enjoyed that's, it. That's the yeah, I enjoyed it. I, considering I was in a very, I wasn't really in the mood to leave the house on yes. Friday. <laughs> we talked about it. I yeah, did, I did drag my. I was like, I'm not obviously. I'm gonna go, but I just don't really don't feel really like it right now. <laughs> Um, when I was getting myself ready, I, I kind of felt more energized to do that. But it was nice to be able to, for a three hour movie, it does it 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 it, it does a good it job. Flies of, by. Um, I wasn't gonna say it flies by. I feel like, but it doesn't drag. I think it I think it settles you into a place where you can just sort of vibe in what's going true, on. True. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think it uh, for me, I'm I'm I, it's very hard for me to turn off that part of my brain. This is like. How far into this are we? How are we? Where, where, uh, how, I'm kind of judging the pacing as I'm going, as I've mentioned uh, before. Yeah. Um, but I think it does a very pretty decent job where I was like, that feels like the one hour mark. That feels like the two hour mark. But at mm-hmm, no point mm-hmm, I was feeling like, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, can we get on with this? I, I think it does. Um, yeah, it 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 sort of sits and lets things glide, which is yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. For me, I do was... have criticisms yeah. on it of it but like i, I want to that that's my my general thought <laughs> fair fair um criticism is not a problem even though there's a big fun fan sitting here for you it's, I, they're, they're, they're pretty decent they're not like oh i hated this sort of thing um it, it's more like mm, there's some stuff in here that didn't work for me yeah. on like a but like not in like a i actively didn't like it just in a I can see what you're going for here, but I don't think you've quite hit it. And I think there's a couple of things that just feel like, you know, James Cameron style filmmaking things that just I'm not a fan of, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. generally speaking. And I don't think that's really going to change very much just because <laughs> that's the way he makes movies. That's the way he writes, which is the big thing. Yeah. yeah. Fair, anyway, fair. You, you can go, though. <laughs> uh, I loved it. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> I really like, yeah, I was a bit worried because. Obviously, I waited 13 years for this movie uh, mm. to come out and 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 be here and for me to be able to sit down and watch it. Um, and it happened before that I waited a long time for something and it turned out to be awful. <laughs> I, was a, I was a bit scared, like, you know, what, is this going to be good or am I going to be disappointed? Because trust me, if I would have been disappointed in this movie... It would have been a, a very big one. I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, if if they would have messed this up, I would be like crying. <laughs> I don't mm. even know. Uh, but no, no. Uh, they they didn't uh, at all. I didn't think that Cameron would be able to make me fall in love with Pandora again. But this fucker didn't. <laughs> Just so smoothly. Uh, and here's the thing. I I know that he loves the ocean. Uh, obviously, he he has mm-hmm. he has plenty of documentaries. Uh, I mean, he spent years. The just... man loves water. Yes, he just loves water. He loves the animals and everything. And and you can tell from this movie. Yeah, you do. You can. However, like, oh, yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am not. We don't have a problem with ocean or anything. I I I love sharks and and whatnot. And, and you know, if there's a good documentary, I'm gonna watch it. But I was I was a bit skeptical. I'm like, I, do I want to watch a movie that's like fully in water and everything? And I was I was like, eh. and I fell in love with it. So it did a pretty good good job for you know it's fucking stunning to look at. I literally before we started recording this, I watched um, a very quick uh, thirty minute uh, long like how did they do it kind of video like it's not the whole making of obviously that's for the blu-ray and everything uh but it's it's incredible what they managed to do and how they figure stuff out because obviously this movie took so long because they had to come up with new tech and and uh, they had to figure out how to work underwater and uh, even if you watch back the first movie which is obviously this one um uh, there is a scene in there where Jake falls into water, and if you watch the behind the scenes, they didn't record that in actual water. Like it was, it was more or like 
hanging the stuntman from above and he mm. just imitated being in water and you know they they kind of dragged him along and and he just had to imitate the movement and and it was later on like added in the, uh, the whole water scene and everything and that was something that they couldn't do for the entire movie here <laughs> because mm. like what like nine I would say 80% of the movie is in water in some <laughs> form, <laughs> some way or another. There's uh, certainly a lot of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, and uh, generally, thank you, James Garn. I'm very happy. I'm a very happy Lily. <laughs> okay, let's get into it deeper. Uh, I don't really have questions again because, like, you know, I think we can just get into the deep end uh if we want obviously spoilers mm, if you I haven't watched say, spoiler start now <laughs> yes if you haven't seen all of the way of water yet it's gonna be a very spoiler filled review i believe um as we always do as we always do uh let's get into it let's get into like story wise and and what did you think of that uh mostly yeah. do, uh, do... i think actually i've got one little bit um that's not actually story related before okay. I go into the actual story bit of it because I did because I found I mentioned this to you before I found that you could I was surprised to see how much that you could see the cracks in the CGI in places oh yeah so, we, we talked about yeah that, we yeah. had a small we had a small discussion I found that there was a couple moments and I think it's because I think it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I wouldn't mind so it wouldn't be so obvious, or I wouldn't mind so much if it wasn't for the fact that this movie is marketed on its CGI and everything that they've been doing with that sort of stuff. The all the stuff they've done on with the water, I actually think looks amazing and all that sort of. But I feel like it it lacks in a couple of places, in particularly the forest for me. There was a couple of bits of lighting um, that didn't feel like properly polished, and and and, and you can kind of. Yeah, you could. I felt you could see cracks, especially in the early parts, um, and when the, you you had a lot of like live action stuff next to a lot of uh, the the CGI stuff. I felt that that some some you could. I felt you could see the the sort of like polished uh, the unpolished parts. And I said, um, but 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 but, and I said, testing the limits of the tech. I guess is kind of where I left it. Where it's like mm. I feel like this is something that will be constantly hopefully improved upon but at the same time we're at a point in cgi stuff where i don't know if we can really make it any further beyond where we're at i think everything there's always going to be some kind of like crack mm. in places um but i don't know maybe 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 they can actually you know do it at some point at some point um, yeah i don't uh, and we even talked about it and i said that i didn't notice it at the forest scenes, so I mm. I'm not sure uh, if I agree on that. Like I don't know. I will watch it tomorrow again, so <laughs> we can talk about it again. <laughs> it's it's in particularly bits that are, partic are like particularly busy, like the fight between uh, where the, when the kids get like kidnapped yeah, yeah, for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Um, I I think I saw it a lot there in that early um, uh, that really early bit when we were um, after like the introductory bit and the you, you they're yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. the train. I yeah, felt that yeah, was yeah. some of, one of the early parts where I was like, eh it, 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 you start feeling a little un uncanny valley in places where I'm like, eh, I can see that this is mm. an animated train in a big old forest, you know? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not... Uh, I, the part where I noticed it, uh, and that for me that was the only part where I was like a bit like, eh? Uh, was uh, when uh, Loak uh, gets attacked by uh, the big fish and big then fish. gets saved by the bigger fish, which is a Tolkien. Big, big fish. Uh, that part, not on not on Loak, so not on the, the Nobby character, but on the fish itself, it was a bit like... Eh, that's, you know, I, I was mm. like, eh, 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 this is not especially perfect here but mm. i would still say like it's like a really small percentage in the whole movie it is a very small percentage it was but it also i i, I mean maybe i was being particularly focused uh, on that about, about it um i was honestly like when when it starts that opening shot is like magnificent like because it's so mm -hmm. detailed and like the depth of it is incredible yeah i think i was so impressed by that 
by the time like other things started coming in and like I was like okay this isn't perfect hmm. but that's not a te- it's not a terrible thing that's not like I'm I'm, I'm like ha ah, fuck you, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm just it was something that I noted and I, I went hmm mm. mm-hmm. okay mm. <laughs> fair yeah uh, I wrote that I I thought the S of the world building I think is incredibly strong. Um, mm-hmm. as mentioned before, it, it does do a very good job of like bringing you back into this world and letting you kind of sit yep. and enjoy the vibe and all yes. the space of it and all that sort of stuff. And I liked the the, the I loved the, the 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 area of the sea people and the the influence of Hawaiian and Polynesian culture. There's kind of a, a Maori sort of um, mm-hmm, culture mm-hmm. that's in there with the tattoos and the kind of just general like mm-hmm. you know. The, the way that they live and all that sort of stuff. It I I do still feel weird, and I think this kind of carries over from Avatar originally anyway. It does feel a little weird having James Cameron, who is very white, kind of doing this whole thing on like native people and indigenous people and, and mm. all that stuff. Where there were kind of a couple of places where I went, I don't know enough about this to to comment on it in any way, any any deep way. You know, and I I feel like he's clearly done a lot of research. It just feels a little. It gives me the sort of you know, uh, and I think it comes out in specifically some of the his simplistic writing, which is one of the, my big criticisms with James Cameron in in general. He does a lot of very binary mm. kind of simplistic mm. writing in places mm. where I mean, like my big one was the the scene where they're introduced to uh, the tree under the water and then yes like, this yeah. is our most sacred place and then they get under the water and they go this is our sacred tree and it's like you don't just have to keep calling it sacred you can imply reverie without just calling things sacred <laughs> in fact it's more powerful when you don't call things sacred constantly and just show people feeling that yeah. the place is you know something yeah, yeah, important yeah. to your culture and all that yeah. sort of stuff and it, it's in those little moments in the writing where i'm like ah james <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it, it, okay. it, 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 and that sort of thing comes out in a lot of other little bits and places as well. But I'm gonna shut yeah. up for a second and let you respond. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, first, I will respond, uh, 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 to the whole being again you know cultural things and and whatnot i don't I know, know if, I'm not if, if necessarily saying it's cultural appropriation i'm not saying that no, at all, no, I, no. Wouldn't go that far. I don't know how if i i think i don't know if it is that far to go that far it just makes me kind of it's breathe um, in a little bit and squint my eyes <laughs> it's uh the reason why i find it like you know obviously tiktok is full of this like full mm. of avatar and everything uh i will say the people who record parts from it and put it on fucking TikTok with their names on it, you are very brave. <laughs> you are very... actually stupid. You know. are very brave and very stupid. Let's put it this way. As I am so... so I, I saw so many of them already banned. <laughs> so I was like, okay, here you go. Um, Be a bit smaller, bit, guys. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny bit. Uh, also, just don't record things in the cinema. Yeah, watch the fucking movie. Like, come on, come on, people, do better. Um, but uh, here's where I get a bit lost with the whole conversation, uh, uh, about how it is, you know, because people bring up that uh, if it's a Maori culture, then there should be more Maori actors. And da 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 da. I did but... have that thought. I I would have it it just because it's so it clearly based in that. I was like, I was quite surprised how few maori actors were in it it's inspired by them and i think that's a big difference like the tattoos that they created every obviously it is inspired by their culture and it's yeah. it's it's you know it's it's definitely in there like if you look at the tattoos that the uh Metikayu people have um um the new clan that uh the sali family joins um obviously it's, yeah. it's the pretty, first look is like clear. Polynesian. This is, uh, yeah, Polynesian, this is, Maori. Yeah, Maori you know. but, but, you know, obviously they ch- they changed it to fit the Navi. And this is mm. where my brain can wrap around the fact that these are blue people. 
an alien yeah, race. Yeah, <laughs> I, I understand that entire. I know you I know can't even you see the the actors themselves behind it. Like you know, I, I I know what you mean, but like you can kind of in places like you can tell where certain actors are. Like the like um a couple of the young the kids mm. um that kind of bully Lorac. Yeah. I think you can tell just from like they kind of got afros and they've got certain features yeah, yeah, yeah. that are, are very typical of uh, of African people uh, or you know black folks and all that sort of mm, stuff. Mm. Um, so it's like you can tell it, you know the actor behind it in those senses. Um, and I I do I do see what you mean. But the, this is where I, I I I'm like I'm reticent to comment on it properly because I haven't seen same I have really haven't seen anything from the other like the people that it would actively affect. Mm. And I would much prefer to like hear that side than like make a judgment myself mm. um, outright. I just know that it kind of made me go, mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, I do understand. Like, yes, okay, obviously, but it's like <laughs> just <laughs> that's exactly where my head is. You can see the. <laughs> please continue (laughs) but it's it's like like this is science fiction and and fantasy and and all that it's something that is is made up uh every book every movie takes inspiration from real life and obviously this takes uh heavily from uh, native people and maori and polynesian and and previously obviously uh parts from africa as well with uh the omatikaya clan uh and I do get it. I re- I really do. But I don't think that this should affect the viewing experience. Yeah, I kind of if it, that makes it, sense. It just makes me <laughs> so like I I feel it feels to me, and I'm well, I'm happy for anybody to come along and be like, actually, this was deeply offensive, and like we really shouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z. Um, to happy to you know hear that that side mm. of things as well. Um. It just feels to I know, uh, but at the same time, I haven't done my research into the production on this in terms of like on the writing level or the research level. I don't know where his who his sources are, whether or not there were like people who are actively from these cultures who kind of brought that inside yep, and inspiration in. Yeah, there are. There were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then that's it. That they are. Okay, I think you can feel that is the thing. You, they, um, they, there were consultants from, uh, yeah. from the Maori people. You know, they they actively researched there's, everything. There's a, okay, well, that does make me feel a bit better then. And um, uh, and you know, actively get into it. Like they, the sign language uh, that they use on the water mm-hmm. and and with the token, that's also completely made up by an actual that person who uses sign language and he made it mm-hmm. up for the movie itself it's a very good interview with him uh it's it's like oh my god <laughs> like you know they really went very deep with it uh and they did their research they had consultants on, on every mm-hmm. aspect and and how to use it properly and how to integrate yeah, it right. so oh, oh, oh um i can step back on that that it, it yeah it doesn't it i don't think i'll ever it it the, I think just in because of the way that James Cameron tends to write his dialogue and like um kind of portray his storytelling, mm. I think there are some places where it's like this could do with some more nuance just on like yeah, a yeah, yeah. general writing level, like what yeah. like the example that I gave. Um I agree on that. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I otherwise do think that it, you know, it is it is very there is a depth to the world and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not I'm I I do personally feel like maybe more actors who kind of are ex- who you know live that experience might be nicer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, I agree a hundred percent. But like, yeah, I would be more bothered with it if it was like grabbing a bunch of white people, not putting any visual. Effects yeah, no, no, no. I do, yeah. Like... You're you are all right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah I would be like, whoa, 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 I, I, whoa. I understand that. Yeah, there's the steps in between it, but like, there's this discussion happens a lot in D and D as well. Because like so many, there are a lot of settings that get created in D and D that are inspired by other cultures, and sometimes they're not. Um, you know, it, it it does feel very much like somebody being like, "Oh, look, um, exotic stat sta- sandbox for me to play in." And it's like, "That's not no, please don't do that." You know, that kind of like, <laughs> like Ugh, Jesus, um, <laughs> you could uh, 
this is you you don't get to just kind of walk into a place that is not your culture and like yeah, start yeah, yeah. pretending to be somebody from that culture um it like that is really just don't do that <laughs> mm, like, mm. especially if you're playing at a table where it's just all white people it's like jesus christ <laughs> like go my guys which does happen um very much does happen and it happens a lot mm. in them um, in in um streaming spaces and everything uh, which yeah. feels um it's just bad just don't do that you know and they think if you're going to do an actual play get people of all different types you it's really no sp- a space to be having all white tables anymore mm. just can't don't do it um but like anyway that's different that's a whole different point um i okay i can go into it in my little other bits um yeah related to that yes the U.S. military, because this is the U.S. military. I'm aware that they're representing the people of Earth, but it's the U.S. military that it they're is, representing. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> who pops up the, it, the Skype, they're all American. It's they the are, US, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the U.S. Navy. It's the U.S. military. Yeah. And um, I'm not a fan of the military in general, be, generally speaking, because um, I, you know, I'm very much against uh, that the military having that much money for one mm. thing, and and um. It just it bad vibes, you know, bad vibes. But like uh, at the same time, I feel like this movie doesn't do a whole lot. Again, in the areas of nuance, in any way, shape, or form, where it's like, yes, apparently everybody who has arrived here is just perfectly fine murdering everybody. <laughs> like there's just there is no space for people like anybody on like the side of like the the navy in this section to be like, you know, I'm. I don't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this. No, 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 they're all on board. They're all very much on board with killing everybody, <laughs> apart from uh, Jermaine Clement. But he's not mm. uh, really in the military. He's a he's a marine biologist. He is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kind of yeah. wanted him to uh, tell the guy in the boat to go fuck himself and then jump out, <laughs> or like actively try and help uh, the two gun. Yeah, yeah, I know um, what you mean. I mean, we had yeah. that character in Misha Rodriguez in the first film, uh, where you know her character was like, "No, I'm out of here because this is just wrong on so many levels." Uh, I miss that from this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have that really. It doesn't have side. that, uh, and I think it tries to play in that nuance by having Spider feel like a sense. Yeah, of, that's what like... I wanted to say. Yeah, <laughs> like he's no. the only reasonable one, but he's the reasonable one because he grew up with the Navi and and but, obviously... like he's 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 reasonable kind of in the wrong way. Um, where I, I uh, it, it, yeah, it, 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 but like it, it it's like you want somebody from the side who come like in the sense that I guess in the same not necessarily in the same way that Jake does in the first movie, but like yeah, a bit more of somebody who's just like actively in that side who drops in. To be like, oh, my, 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 because they, they, they're not looking for unobtainium this time. They're just like, we need to colonize this planet because ours is dying. That's like, like a whole vibe. And it's somebody I would have liked to have seen, like maybe some kind of like emotional journey for somebody who comes on and goes, I really want to save my family or like, you know, humans and all that sort of stuff. Um, mm. uh, and I, I've come here for a purpose and then go, hang on a second, we are brutalizing the natives. We've done this before. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Yeah, I think it's a very harsh critic of how humans tend to it's uh, too harsh. <laughs> go about, you know, everything new that they discover, which I think is like, you know, we yeah. saw it so many times, but it's it's it's, it's true. It's, it's it's such a <laughs> yeah, but it's also <laughs> such a bleak view of what humans are like. Um, yes, but at the uh, same time, and, it, and I'm not, I'm not, I I, but it, I think it just leads to binary thinking, which I think doesn't really isn't particularly conducive to um, a full understanding of like. But at the same time, I feel like that is almost done on purpose because this is one movie that of a you know apparently four more that we're getting. Yes. Um, four, uh, three, four, three, five, three, sorry. three more, three more. Sorry, three, three more, more that we're getting. We're this is like one part of a. a yeah. So maybe we'll get more nuance as we go on. I don't. I, know. I think but so. One, think yeah, so. one would hope yeah. anyway. Yeah. But in this particular film, it did feel so harsh in places that my only criticism on this point was well it's not even criticism my only comment on this point was just fuck the u.s military i'm not kidding <laughs> it's a fair point i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah uh 
but, but, but. yes so your point to me after you watched it yes. was that you that your main thing was that they could not use Zoe Saldana enough mm. still I'm leaving this open to you to, to to comment a little bit more on before I go into my point um I think it's fair to say that she for me at least she is the heart of of the Navi and and Pandora and everything, and she was so she was set up so beautifully uh, that even though she had trauma in the first one, uh, already uh, experiencing the very bad side of humanity and uh, and how we tend to uh, uh, go with things, uh, and she was still able to open up to Jake and and teach him and everything. Um, I mean, I was like. It started off like, you know, Jake is obviously just like the first movie. Jake is talking about their lives, what happened with them, uh, how they had the, uh, uh, the kids, blah, 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 blah. And you could see her death. <laughs> but I was like already, the whole thing was already foreshadowing that she's not going to be in it as much mm. this time around. Uh, and especially watching the interviews beforehand, where, where Zoe was very passionate about how uh, in this one, Nighter is finding, uh, trying to find her way after uh, uh, leaving uh, her people behind uh, to be safe uh, from Quaritch and and his people. Uh, and I, 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 I don't think it 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 really had that. I think no. it was it was like I I loved. I will say this. I needed a lot more from the Nateri that we got in the last 30 minutes, uh, where she just goes God mode mama bear. Uh, yeah, uh, I did. I liked that. But I also, which is actually my next point on here, I was said Zoe Saldana is underutilized. Um, yes. I don't think her inability to distinguish all humans as the enemy is explored enough. Worried nope. about how this is going to impact Spider later. Because um, it's such a, it, it is a really interesting character thing to put in but it's like so kind of glazed over by him as well like you can see him react to it but he doesn't say anything it's almost like oh we don't have time to go into this right now so we're just not gonna have him really go into it at I all mean, uh at the beginning because i really like that tiny bit where uh Quaritch is watching the uh recording of how he died and obviously it's uh, the camera record uh, records uh Naitiri, uh shooting him down uh at the end of the first one Mm -hmm. And uh, they s show Spider being like properly scared. He's, as, yeah, he's, as he's he sees not... Nighter, like, like right, you know. Okay, I, I I found that hard to interpret because I I was seeing it as like I think it, I think it, in context of the end of the movie, it feels different to the way it does at the mm -hmm. beginning because I felt like he was going, oh my, I I always didn't wasn't sure if he knew that she was the one who like murdered his dad. Probably not. Yeah. And that was the feeling I was getting from that bit. But at the end, it feels more like, oh, this woman could actively be a danger to me just yeah, because I yeah. am this. Um, That's even what though I, I felt. Ha I've grown up here. Um, and it's like, this This is very interesting. But also, mm -hmm. I'm worried. It's making me very... It's a great piece of like active conflict. Mm -hmm. But it has not been explored at all no. in this <laughs> setting. Nope. I think it will be. Like I'm mm. really hoping at this point because obviously, uh, we got uh, we get to know more like two of the kids, especially which is Loic and and Kiri, and Kiri. uh, and uh, and you know Jake is still having a big part in the whole thing, uh, but uh, I I I really hope like that's my wish that in the third one it's it's going to be more about her, and mm. the the whole thing. Uh, she already talked about in the interviews, like how is she changing? How how all this is happening around her is going to change her? Because it's it's already she's a very different Nighty from from the first one, very different uh, in a good way and in a scary way as well. Because like as I said, that final scene with her, yeah, that's, that's, that was yeah, pretty pretty intense. Um... I do have my next point, which is about yes. Jake. Okay. Where um Jakey Jake. It basically so the, the first thing I'll say is that they say his name so much in this movie. Like yes. constantly. <laughs> and I feel like it's almost like a thing of like, oh, you couldn't remember his name the first time around? Well, we're gonna, gonna make you remember it this time. 
everybody's going to call him by his full name all the time. Jake Sully, Jake Sully, Jake, Jake Sully, Sully, Jake Sully. Okay, I get it. I know his name now. Jesus, you stop. <laughs> Good. <laughs> But you know what's really funny? I don't I don't remember the the the, the sergeant's name. I've no I fucking was like the colonel, like the bad guy, you know? Quaritch. No idea what his name is. Was it? Quaritch. Colonel Quaritch. Quaritch. Yes. Okay. That's not a name that would ever stick in my brain. <laughs> Quaritch. Um Miles. That's you know. Miles okay. Quaritch. Yeah. Right, Miles, okay, sure. <laughs> I did <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this because um, okay. he's good in some places, but Jake's kind of a bad dad. Yeah, my poor baby. He's not a very he's, good father. He's he's not doing great. He's, he's not doing he's, great. But I think that this is another thing. Again, it's in that place of like James Cameron not really knowing how to do nuance. Um, I can see where he's go- coming from and kind of making him the military dad and like I'm going yeah, to yeah, yeah. my kids to be blah, yep, blah, blah, yep. blah, blah. but he just sucks in places like actively sucks where <laughs> it's like you are not listening to your child at nope. all nope. Like, so much of this could be better if you just like at any point sat down and went hmm you know what I could do be empathetic to my son <laughs> I-, I think it was very well uh, represented that he's very got into his head too much in a point mm-hmm. where he just he just didn't even listen he just saw all the bad things and that this is the only thing they can do they can only do bad things and and you know i have to yeah. be very strict with them and i have to uh, and and i still worry like i'm very i'm very much worried but at the same time i'm like <laughs> like just completely just it it felt very especially the way that it kind of resolves where he comes in and he's like i'm going because i've learned all this stuff i'm going to teach this to you now or i'm going to tell you how to slow down your breathing i'm going to parrot the things that i learned from this girl that i really like (laughs) which was very cute um (laughs) um, like a bit obvious again but like still cute you know yeah (laughs) um uh where he's like he comes in and he kind of takes him to you know slow down and all that sort of stuff and he bleeds him out and manages to they basically he saves his life and mm-hmm. he does that it was the bit that got me i did cry when yeah. he turned around and went i see you and i'm like i see you I, yeah he got me but at the same time it's like it's it's such a like simplistic like i felt the the screenwriter's like rule book on display where he's like, oh, I'm going to set up all this conflict beforehand and then this thing will happen it will change his entire view on his son and this sort of kind of thing is like I was like, okay, it worked in this sense. I understand. I get. It. I get it. I, I was. Yeah. It. It moved me, but also mm. nuanced. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> not really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. He's. He's just. I was just kind of watching it. Like, dude, you kind of suck. <laughs> Poor boy. Poor boy. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Poor Jake. He wasn't. He wasn't great. <laughs> great i don't know but like yeah it was so funny the moment i watched all of them escaping from that uh from the forest uh, yes. in the beginning of the movie yeah and it was like all of the, they managed to get all the kids out i just i sat there and went oh uh, not all of those kids are surviving to the end of this one <laughs> one of those kids is going oh, no. i don't know which one it is but one of them's gonna die oh i i, I okay okay we have to talk about the kids because okay. they I they are the they, I love them too, so dearly. They are the, they're, they're, the biggest, they are biggest the part. Of, they are the yeah. heart of this movie for sure. Yeah, and and to think because now that they are giving interviews and obviously doing the press tour for it, they are like 18, 20 and whatnot, and they were 21. fucking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, it's fucking it's Sigourney Weaver. It is Sigourney Weaver. I love that. I have to know one thing because obviously here it was dubbed. Uh, so I watched it in Hungarian uh, uh, dubbing. But uh, mm. it is Sigourney Weaver's voice. It's I Sigourney gr- Weaver. I don't, okay. I don't think you can kind of... It doesn't like. It doesn't feel like, oh, that's an old woman's voice coming out of her. She does a really good job of actually really embodying that like usefulness yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But because obviously Sigourney Weaver is also in the movie as her mother... Yes, um, uh, Grace. Yeah, uh, uh, Grace in in human form. Yes, it's like there are people. It's like, oh, you just have a similar voice because you know that's your mum kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I don't think you. I don't. I found I couldn't see Sigourney Weaver in that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's in it's, a very good way. 
in a very good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I was just wondering if if it's Sigourney. Like they didn't change her voice yeah, or anything. It's her, it's her voice, as far good, as I can good, tell. Good. I, couldn't, I couldn't. I didn't hear anything that made me think, oh, they've done something to it. Okay, good, good. Uh, but uh, I love Kiri. I think Kiri is is my favorite child. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> do you want to just... hear specifically? Because I wrote this a little bit to you as well. But like, literally, my point. I didn't have. I didn't write anything on the act, but I did. I also very much. I actually really enjoyed his whole thing about going off and. I mean, yeah. the way that they get him to go off is like, oh for fuck's sake! This is like... <laughs> What do you classic, mean? Like the whole, but like classic whole... bully, like oh yeah, 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 where it's like, did you not think that he might die? You fucking. <laughs> it was very. Oh, um... yes. <laughs> yeah, we agree. Insane. I think children aren't psychopaths. I don't know. What... Um, I thought maybe they'd still like kind of hang out nearby and be like, okay, we've done to this too much yeah. now. Uh, maybe yeah. come back. No, no, they just fucking left they him just, there. And they it's just like, left him there. Jesus. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I, but I really liked his whole like discovery of how he like he he just found his own natural way in things, and that was really mm-hmm. nice to watch. Um, Very nice. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but like specifically, I literally wrote, "Kiri is so fucking cute." That was like one of my notes. <laughs> Um, and then I I, sp- I talked to her a little bit about um, I talked to you a little bit about this before. Uh, I actually I really enjoyed the way in which like she's clearly very in tune with things on a level that like the rest of them aren't, mm. and I think that has more to do with the fact that her mother has clearly figured something out about the way that the the world works and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. I also like the fact that they're just sort of like, oh, she has fucking epilepsy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was it's like, like you watch her like kind of zone out all the time. And you're like, oh wow, she's like clearly there's something like intense going on, and they're like, no, no, this is the symptom of epilepsy. It's quite yeah. like, specific. Um, you can't let her uh, attach to the sacred tree anymore, <laughs> which is yeah. like, you know really upsetting, and that is the way that some disabilities work. In them. And I really liked mm-hmm. the fact that it was like she, she just she has epilepsy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I kind of hope that they don't undercut that with like and she's magic i don't want that <laughs> i don't think she's gonna be magic or at least yeah. i hope she's not she's you know they should just be like she just have a deeper understanding of a wall and everything around them and that's it like you know obviously she's grace's daughter so i love i love the fact i will also say this that that Naitiri completely uh treats her like her own daughter oh yeah which is like, uh, well you again. know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's also a nod back that I think genuinely neither really loved Grace. Uh, and I think it's very obvious in the first one. And, and you could just feel that, yeah, I love you too. You're, you're my kid and, and completely accept her. Not the same way <laughs> she does with Spider. That poor, okay. poor kid. <laughs> poor kid. I was like, okay. I was very angry with him at the end. I'm not good at lie. Like, I'm pulling him out of the. Yeah. I'm. I. But this is what this is what I mean in that I think they've gone too far in the other direction. Um, but when we were talking about before, in the sort of sense of like, uh, we we were making out. Uh, you you've got um this human character and and he's going to relate to the humans because he's also human and yeah. he's finally seeing like other humans in this yeah but like he still like obviously fights for his like family and his but they, all at the same time I, the kid must feel so like in the way that he set it up he's so like actively made othered um mm. in in um in the space so I'm not surprised that he went uh, I'm not surprised that they went and did it that way because they did not set it up in any way that makes him seem like he would just leave him down there you know I know I know like I I wasn't surprised but I was like oh come on kid don't do it (laughs) also fun fact he's also the kid at the beginning of Endgame the bicycle kid kid on bike (laughs) kid on bike Yes, (laughs) Yes, who <laughs> you know, Ant Man stops to ask like, "What happened here?" And he looks back, and that's just like a tear or teary eye or something, and then and just you know, by self, that's him. Just so you know, uh, but but yeah, all of the kids like obviously the the smallest kid was named I took. Was it took? It wasn't. Yeah, took. I think took. Was it took? It, I, I yeah, I'm pretty sure it was took. Uh, she she was the only one who was like, "Didn't the 
background most of the well, part. Like, yeah, she, yeah. There's but, literally a point where um, uh, she just goes, I can't, can't believe I'm tied up again. It's like, yeah, that's your function in this movie. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor girl. It's like, oh, baby. Um, but but she's. I think she's going to be a great character as well. Uh, and let's talk about the biggest fucking tearjerker of the whole movie, Nathaniel, who... Obviously, the oldest child, the first child, yeah, uh, which makes it even more heartbreaking that he is, is the one who gets killed in this film, mm-hmm. which is like I, you I, know, like I watched the actual <laughs> moment of his death. I, I, I was not moved. His funeral. I mean, oh, I was yeah. moved, but like I didn't cry. His funeral. I loved the imagery of his funeral in the the in the whole concept of like. We, you know, we start in the water and we leave in the water, and mm-hmm. the way that they wrapped him up, like he's back in the fetal position, so he's like brought back into the. Uh, I just was like, oh, this is this is genuinely quite emotional. Yeah, <laughs> I am getting very teary over this bit. Yeah, what broke me was because Zoe is just great at everything, but she's especially great at mourning the dead, and <laughs> like, but it's true. <laughs> I I know it's very weird job, sounding. <laughs> her pain in both of the movies, because obviously the first one she loses her father, uh, and in this one she she loses one of her ch- children, and the pain, like the moment, like Natalia is like that everything, and she realizes it that her son is gone, and that that scream, that screech mm. of like. Huge pain, and that's what you know obviously leads her forward but as well. Th- this like... also leads me to I think the worst thing that Jake Sully does in this entire movie, where he, where you know, uh, Loic is like, Hey, dad, and he goes, You've done enough, and it's like, Fuck off, Jake. I'm sorry, oh, that was no. so bad. Yeah, it oh my god, just, absolutely not. That was the moment I was like, Hey, Jake, you're a bad dad. It was so bad. I was like, Oh no, you did not just say that to this poor kid who just lost his brother. I was like, No, we already got survivor's guilt. You don't need to make it out like this. Oh god, oh god, it's so bad. Uh, but but yeah, definitely the whole the, the whole ending was like, Oh yeah, no, tears, 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 done. Uh, also, that is where my whole problem with Zoe being on the use is, is that, you know, it's Jake's memory with Nathaniel, and then mm-hmm. she just appears in the background and, and, and like, smiles, oh, hello. hello, and I was like, <laughs> she was she's his mom. Yeah, the there's, there's, a, there's a lot of space to, like, make a lot of really interesting choices beyond what's there. There's, like, yes, a really please. great basis yes. um, to, like, build in, like, a uh, I think which is what we were saying the world building is so good and the story that kind of element of storytelling is so good that you can kind of sit there and go okay I can see how you could go in this direction or this direction or explore this thing or this thing or this thing Mm -hmm. um which is just a sign of excellent like yeah Yeah. world building and um in that sense um or law building even um Uh, the only other note I have in my little uh my little thing is uh that poor kid also snap bracelets are more hardcore than I remember because <laughs> they're the fucking cops are just snap bracelets but they can't pick them up yeah 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 oh yeah they just want to snap and it's like oh <laughs> yeah, fuck but... I'm stuck now <laughs> I was like I didn't I didn't even bracelet. think about that but now unravel it that's how they work now that you mentioned it I'm like oh yeah yeah you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, I, I will also point out my other criticism, mm. uh, which is obviously, it's also a very, comes from a very sad place because the original composer, James Horner, sadly mm. passed away in 2015. But uh, I think he understood the whole world that James Cameron was building so well that the first movie's whole original soundtrack and everything is just, perfect like so well capturing uh the people everything uh the world around them uh the fight scenes everything and in this one uh except for one thing i will get to that in a second uh the only time where i was like i love this music was when they brought back what james horner already did and they they brought back the familiar teams uh that were already in the previous movie but but there is one exception 
I don't like I don't like the end credit song, which was done by the weekend. And I love Leona Lewis's I ICU. Quite, I, I I kind of listened to it and I went, all right. I, and then but that was kind of as far as I got. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't vibe with it. I think I see was just like beautiful. Uh but this has one very fucking emotional and beautiful one. Uh it's it's the song the song uh beat. Uh, uh, yeah, no, well, that, that was uh, really that, nice. That Zoe sings. That's actually Zoe uh, Saldana singing, uh, and it's just, it's just fucking otherworldly beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Uh, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel like they, they missed out a little bit on the music part. Just, I, I mean, I didn't even make any notes on the music. It, it didn't register really with me at all, which probably ah! is something. Um, <laughs> like it, they just walked out. Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. this wasn't gonna work. I know <laughs> it is hold up for an hour. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, um, I'm yeah, listening. the the music just didn't register to me at all. Like, I didn't, I didn't feel any any which way about it either way. I did, I did note that the singing was beautiful. That that beautiful. Did that that I did note that, but like anything to do with the soundtrack, I couldn't tell you how any of it went. Like, hmm. just it just generally speaking, I don't fucking not a clue. Um, okay, but okay. also I've I've been having trouble hearing anything in my head recently, but the Mandalorian theme because I it just keeps popping into my head at random intervals, and as I sit there like trying to do work, and I'm like, that's my that's my ringtone. So you know, I feel you. Fuck so. Oh good. It is um, so good. I that's why I told you on WhatsApp that I think they should have grabbed Ludwig Göransson to do the music for this one. It, honestly, he would be an excellent choice. Um He would be a fucking amazing choice. He would be an excellent he really would be an excellent choice for it. Um but you know, alas who we Alice. are. Um, yes. Uh yeah. I'm just trying to think if I had any other thoughts. I thought I did, but maybe I don't. If you don't, I will show you another one, fun fact. Uh, okay. because James Aaron talked about this uh, Avatar came to him in the dream and what he does after a dream is he draws the things that I have, he sees I've seen that you've seen that? Yeah, but I I've will show you because I uh, I actually have it in the book uh, it was it was in that um, Nathan Z video I sent you oh yes it was mm-hmm. oh that's true that's true it was in there but, but, but wait let me let me find it there's so many pictures this was the first thing. Ah. Damn. That's that's James Cameron's work. And wow. they they went with uh, like a lot of like artist designs and when they tried to figure out how to do the Navi and, and all that. But they essentially went back to James's original drawing and just slightly changed it. Uh which I think is very, very fun. Dreams have power. Listen to your dreams, especially if you're a writer. <laughs> A lot of the notes I have are from like trying to uh, falling asleep and just having like a really strange moment and just being like, actually, I need to write this down. Um, yeah, <laughs> but not that I, I ever actually do anything with them. But like, but I who have knows? Some, there's there's interesting imagery in them. Um, uh, at Maybe times. one day you will do something with it. You never know. I know. You never know. I know. You know. Dreams are powerful. Um, I do like that. I mean, I love dreams. I, I, I did a whole tweet thread on it a couple of months ago. I went a bit <laughs> mental and just was like, dreams. Dreams. Um, Fair. Um, anything else you'd like to add or should we do rating on it? I don't think so. I think I've said everything I want to say. I can't think should of should? anything else. I don't know. I feel like I was going to say something before, but I have absolutely no idea what it was now <laughs> I've all of my all of I've, I've said all of my notes I think um hang on I've, I closed it so clearly I thought oh no no I didn't it's a here's cute oh yeah I did find the um oh you know I did find very interesting yes tell me not really um it's like a very small point just in the in the grand scheme of things but the introduction of like they killed one of the um. How do you say it? The the big the big fish things. Tolkon. Tolkon. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um. They killed one of those. Yes. Took out the the gold like gland juice and then were like in the most like casual one off moment in the entire movie, which has absolutely no bearing on the rest of the plot. This thing stops human aging. 
It's, they will. it's worth 80. Yeah, I know. But it was like, oh, that's sequel bait if ever I fucking heard it. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It is. Because the, it's like, the implications of that are insane. Yep. Not the next one, but the but the fourth movie is 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 about that. But it's like, just throw that in there and then don't expect me to be like, hold on a second. Go back to that. That's, <laughs> that's huge. It's going to be huge. Something bonkers. Yep. Yep. Also, that scene is fucking heartbreaking. It's, it's, it's awful. It's fucking awful. I was like, I was like, I was like, oh no, I can't, I can't deal with this. Um, it's, it's once again, it's James's other passion, and it's a very, you know, Wales Tolkien's, like, yeah, which is all very, which, you know, the, you, there's obviously he's got that there, there's a theme of like conservation and like uh, that yes. sort of stuff and being with, and yet. You did you hear about the dolphin show? The dolphin show. There was a there was a a promotional thing, a dolphin show with captive dolphins that they did in Japan for the movie, and it's like this feels oddly um uh for the press tour or one for the press tour for this movie. Ah oh, no, I didn't hear it, about it, that And one. it was sort of like um the fuck, <laughs> or it's like this feels blind to considering everything else that you've done for this movie and the fact that the whole thing is you know i don't know it felt it was very just like it's very what? weird it was weird <laughs> i i did you did you have a mind melting moment or something where you where something, or did i mean you somehow not know about this which feels strange considering he is like the head of this whole i mean yeah I but know, you know press is on. like you know uh i i i would say that he probably didn't know until they were there I mean, they could do find, something I mean yeah try, try to look at it <laughs> uh, Avatar do premiere sparks outrage good start hang on I gotta get through this whole um thing. Yeah, didn't hear about this one. Blah, 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 blah. Wave of the water took thirteen years to make. Blah blah blah. At the center of the uproar is a live captive dolphin show, which we used at the Japanese premiere. In attendance were actors Zoe Saldana, Sam Worthington, and Sigourney Weaver, along with director James Cameron. The video of the event shows Cameron introducing the show with the words uh, "Welcome to Pandora," reference to the world in which Avatar was set. A pod of trained dolphins and swim into the pool, performing tricks and orchestral music. On the aquarium speech speakers, the actors can be seen clapping at the performance. And it's like, oh, in another clip, Mr. Cameron appears to joke about a dolphin captivity, saying, I'm sure everyone asked their permission to be in the show. I love these animals. I love their intelligence. It's just, it's just not great, <laughs> you know? It's a bit tone deaf. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. That's the, the thing I'm looking for. It's like, mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that is a bit mm, tall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, don't do that, please. Anyway, uh, anyway, don't, let's don't go to dolphin shows. That's that's the, that's the, the yeah. This moment. That's right that's now. The, that's very important part. Um, ratings. What do you rate this movie? I just realized that my jump is partly green, and it's like starting to show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh gosh, you like doing these things at ten, don't you? Um, yes. Eight. I think an eight. Okay. Like solid eight. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Eight is good. Good. Just so no one says that I'm just, you know. I know I'm I'm over the moon about it. And I know that, you know, this is the fan talking. Mm. The fan gives a solid ten. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> but I am obviously not blind. Uh, and I can see where it can improve and where it can change. Uh, and with that in mind, I will give it a nine. Okay. But I really loved him. Yeah, it's good. It's a good movie. I I I definitely <laughs> had fun watching it. Good, good, good. I'm not like you in that I'm going to watch it a million times afterwards. I probably won't. <laughs> um, no. but, but I'm, I'm crazy, I so you know. It. Once it takes some life, just in it. Just in it. I, I can't wait to watch it again tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, woohoo! Here we go again. Yay! Time That's me. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Actual Mario. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very happy with it. Uh, yes. So this was us for this year, but we will be back next year, next year. obviously. With many, many things. Many things. I'm sure there's a couple of, you know, a few, few, few TV reviews on the horizon. Yes. I'm going to be dragging us into doing the full season of the, the second season of The Legend of Vox Machina again. Obviously. 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 I you have to watch moment. it first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me no, know. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. I will endeavor to to try and do that. Um. Uh. There's there's some. I mean, you know about it now because you've, you've watched do, the first but... campaign. But there's some stuff in this season. I reckon they're gonna get to, and it's gonna be the beginning of my emotional pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready for to see the Death Walk Award again. I'm just I'm not ready for it, but I'm gonna have to watch it. <laughs> yep. You got it. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I definitely didn't have a moment last night reading through my Tadori Reborn campaign guide and looking at some stuff to do with a certain, I don't want to spoil anything if people haven't seen it, but like there's some stuff to do with a certain character and I got very emotional about it. Um no. uh, but fine. like, yeah, things like Loki season two. Um yes. Uh, Shadow and Bone season two, uh, a lot of season twos actually. A lot of season just, twos, yeah. A lot, yeah. Of, a lot of season twos. Those, those are the big ones I could remember off the top of my head. Um, Movies, Guardians of the Galaxy, more movie, Volume more Three, uh, Ant Man, the third Ant Man movie. Where are we gonna get Kang? I Things that aren't Marvel property. Things that are more Marvel property. I saw a very, very intriguing one today. A trailer oh, for yeah? Black Skies. I think that's the title, and it's it's UFOs. There's that fucking is... new dinosaur movie. Um, yes, uh, which oh I'm God, sure talk about <laughs> that's a must, Katie. I'm telling you right now, like it's very. Do you know if you want to see some good dinosaur content, guys, watch Puppet History. Most recent season has got some stuff in it. Um, I just saying Shane Mede is a fucking genius. Uh, I love Puppet History. <laughs> I cannot believe I cried over some a fucking asteroid. Please, you have to. You do have to watch Puppet History from the beginning because they did just like it's been all law this season and some history, but there's been law. Yes, the like, little funny show with puppets has law in it. You don't need to question it. Just watch the show. <laughs> that's that's all you have to do. It's fun and you'll learn things. True, true. Uh, but sixty five. Yes, that's gonna be a must watch. Must watch. I'm. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, like. Uh, uh, we're gonna get uh, across the Spider Verse Part One, uh, finally, yes, because we were That's supposed so to watch that this month, but obviously it got pushed back. So you know, next year it is. Uh, uh lots of us. Obviously, yeah, obviously, um, we're, we're starting which the maybe year with a that. bit more. Um, in obviously we will be talking to Jeffrey in February, so that will be yes. very fun. But also, I may be doing a thing, potentially. Yes, we'll it's see. still in the works, but. Fingers crossed. That's all um, I all I can say. Thanks, Lily. Uh, yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> all I can. Really I'm say. trying. <laughs> um, I Lily exists on a more public scale than I do. <laughs> she sends things my way. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can think of off the top of my my head. Uh, I, really. I literally just wrote down things today that uh, are must watches uh, next year but I am so dumb and I can't remember properly but there will be I mean we're probably going to do an episode of what we're looking for in, in 2023 at the beginning I'll have to do some I, look, I'll have to look into some yeah. stuff like oh Sex Education to... Season 4 will be coming out won't it there you go that's another thing yeah there'll be go. stuff there will be stuff. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it properly in in the new year, because you know that was us for this year, uh, closing it down with Avatar: The Way of Water. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, watch it in the cinemas. Like like <laughs> this is this is literally something that what it is. It, it's a cinema movie. <laughs> you know, actually, no. Movie. I just thought. I just I just remembered uh, two movies that are coming out on the same day: Oppenheimer and oh. Barbie. Yes. <laughs> That's an interesting... Two very different movies. We both very... had trailers come out recently and actually both of them look fucking brilliant. Yep. <laughs> so I, you know... That Barbie can... trailer is a genius. It was so good. 
It's so good. I really liked it. I haven't watched the Oppenheimer uh, trailer. trailer I watched yet. it this morning. I think I'd want to watch it again because I did watch it on Instagram. And you know when okay. you watch a video on Instagram, it decides yeah, to make yeah, it yeah. this big and you can't turn it sideways. So I would. I think I need to see it again. Killian Murphy with an American accent is oh. weird. It's weird. It's good, it? but it's weird. Hmm. I don't know. He's definitely it? not English in it. <laughs> Nor fair. is he Irish. <laughs> fair. Fair. It's not have his natural accent in it at all. I'm pretty sure that he... I think I'm pretty sure it's an American accent. It sounded American to me, but I am known to be a bit blind when it comes to accent. Ah, uh, same. Same. So don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be very good things coming next year as well. And we're going to talk about oh. them because that's what so we do. Things to talk about when we can <laughs> that's a new song don't ask <laughs> that's the theme song from now <laughs> all right happy holidays everyone enjoy christmas have a merry merry christmas and happy, uh, Hanukkah happy to those year. who are doing that happy right Hanukkah now as well uh, kwanzaa for anybody who's going kwanzaa there you go uh, and all the other holidays that whoever celebrates all over the world uh, and we love you all See you next year. Bye. Bye, everybody.